It's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and passing the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, your company just moved to Google Cloud. You configured separate VPC networks for the finance and sales departments. Finance needs access to some resources that are part of the sales VPC. You want to allow the private RFC 1918 address space traffic to flow between the sales and finance VPCs without any additional cost and without compromising the security or performance. What should you do? So in this project scenario, your company has multiple departments. Each department has their own VPC network. So there is a set of IP addresses allocated to the finance department, a set of IP addresses allocated to the sales department. These are part of one RFC 19 address space. So these are addresses that are not publicly available that will be entirely private to your network. But now between these separate VPCs, we want to have communication and we want to share the same RFC 1918 private address space. The key requirements as a part of this are also that there should not be any additional cost. So the solution that we choose has to be free. We also should not compromise the security or performance. So as much as possible, we want to limit traffic within the Google Cloud network itself. As soon as we go outside to the public network or we hit an external endpoint, then the security attack surface increases and that is a problem. Given these requirements, let us now look at each of the options and see what will suit us the best. Option A suggests that we create a VPN tunnel between these two VPCs. Typically, a cloud VPN is used to connect on-prem or other clouds to Google Cloud. This is not usually used if you're going to be just connecting things within Google Cloud itself. In this case, your project is entirely on GCP and both the finance and the sales departments are also within Google Cloud within the Google network. So using a cloud VPN for this is not required. Also, cloud VPN is a paid solution. So if we use this, it is going to have additional cost. One matching point with cloud VPN is that it does allow us to support a shared private IP address space within RFC 1918, and that works in its favor, but the other points do not. Considering all of this, we will eliminate option A for this requirement. Option C suggests that we add a route on both VPCs to route traffic over the internet. So in this case, data that is going from the finance team goes out to the public internet, comes back into Google Cloud, into the Google Cloud network, and then enters the sales network and vice versa. Routing traffic over the internet increases the attack surface. And therefore, anything that involves such an option is going to be compromising the security in some way. Of course, this is definitely a requirement in certain cases, and therefore you've got other options, say like Cloud VPN, where you can encrypt the data before you send it, or always use uh, HTTPS or some kind of um, encrypted format to transfer data. But if we wanted to reduce even that requirement, we want to keep the traffic within the network itself. We don't want it going outside anymore. So routing the traffic over the internet is immediately a bad option for this requirement. Moreover, the performance is going to degrade. It is going to have to hit some external gateway, then traverse a public internet, which probably has lesser bandwidth and capacity than is privately available within Google Cloud. And therefore, we could expect the performance to drop. Moreover, it does not address the private IP address space requirement. When we 
route traffic over the public internet, you're going to have to have an external IP address. And therefore, that is not an acceptable solution for this requirement. Option C, therefore, is out for us. Option D suggests that we create an interconnect connection to access the resources. So the two interconnect options we have are dedicated interconnect and partner interconnect. What suits us for this requirement is that it allows us to share the private RFC 1918 address space. So even if you had two networks and you connected over interconnect or using interconnect, you could access the same set of IPs in on both sides. However, interconnect is mostly used for hybrid networks connecting on-prem to Google Cloud. It also is a significantly higher cost when setting up interconnect. You need to make sure that you're potentially co-located or you need to work out something with your telecom uh, service provider to ensure that you draw a cable to some point that Google Cloud can then interconnect with you. So this is a paid solution, even if it suits some of the other requirements that we have for this question. Therefore, considering all of this, we are going to also eliminate option D. Option B suggests that we configure VPC peering between these two VPCs. Now, what does VPC peering give us? One, it does allow the sharing of the RFC 1918 address space. So both these networks can share the same address space which is private within RFC 1980. Since this is a connection that does not traverse the external internet and it stays entirely within the Google network, there are no security compromises and that suits us very well. Because the traffic also does not have to traverse the public internet or hit an external gateway, we will expect that the performance is going to be higher. Moreover, in terms of costing, of course, there is going to be the regular network pricing. But since there are no external IPs and since there is no egress, the cost of this is going to be what you expect for all other internal traffic within the Google network. So on all comes, considering the requirements we have for this question, VPC peering seems to suit all of them and therefore that becomes the right approach to resolve this requirement. If you're interested in picking up loads more learning on Google Cloud, go ahead and subscribe right away.